how is this song not more in the zeitgeist than Let It Go? I get absolute goosebumps talking about this song. This song to me, Into the Unknown by Adina Menzel, or as John Travolta called her, Adele Dazeen. From the Frozen 2 soundtrack, to me is a superior song to Let It Go. Let It Go, while a nice song, uh, maybe it just got overplayed, maybe I just got tired of hearing it, but Into the Unknown is absolutely incredible, first off, right? So from a time signature standpoint, one, so if I slow that down, That F is holding on for an extra eighth note there. That in itself is just a beautiful melody, which sounds like we're in E flat minor. But then they add that A flat major. Okay, so we're in A flat major. We're gonna go down to F, uh, G, G flat. Back to G flat. Now A flat. Woo! You hear that transition? So we got. That changes the mood of the whole song. Going to that. Uh, G flat or F sharp major. So that A flat or G sharp now sounds so different. Meanwhile, the entire time the piano's going. It's playing that melody, which is basically an E flat major. which hints at what the chorus is gonna do. But right now we're in E flat minor, which is crazy, right? That's not supposed to be in E flat minor. <laughs> that's the cool part, right? So that's C natural. Hints at what's gonna happen in the chorus, right there. So immediately, to me, from an arrangement standpoint, absolute genius, we're gonna continue. Back to E flat minor. Back to. Now we're going to the A flat. That is really important because we're going from A flat before we did. We're going straight to that A flat major chord. To the B flat major chord. And that will strongly hint that we're going to go back to E flat minor. But we don't. Now we got C minor out of nowhere. Woo! C minor out of nowhere. We haven't been. What happened? We just we just did a key change, right? It's gonna go to A flat, da, 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 da. Mm, F minor, into the unknown, and then we're gonna go to E flat major, which is. It's smart. It's smart songwriting. It is super smart songwriting. Listen to this. A flat minor, A flat major. I, I, the first, look, goosebumps. Look, look, I'm not even exaggerating, goosebumps. The first time I heard this, okay? <laughs> the first time I heard this, which was recent. I wasn't, a, I wasn't, I, I was outside of the Frozen camp. I had no idea what these movies were about. Uh, I have a kid now, so I'm starting to watch these movies. And 
My goodness, when I hear into the un, mm, the un, oh, hear that octave jump, right? Because she goes into the, mm, into, into the un, oh, that's an octave jump right there. to the octave higher E flat. And that is smart because it's a response to that we've been hearing this whole time from the other singer, Aurora, right? Into the young. And then immediately Aurora responds with And we're gonna go back to the original key. It is super, super smart songwriting. Really well arranged, really well put together. Listen to this again. Love it. Listen to this transition right here. Absolutely, because she's responding. Listen. They hit that note forte. Go immediately down to mezzo piano and crescendo the hell up to fortissimo. It is insane. I love this so much. B flat major. A flat major. Listen to this change. How the hell did we get C major? And oh, this duets between Aurora and Adina Menzel. Uh, Adina Menzel starts with, which is weird in C major. The fact that we transition to C major alone is weird, but the but the that it's it is a strange transition. Okay, that A doesn't really not that it doesn't belong in C major, but it's not. It just doesn't sound right until Aurora responds with Okay? So Adina goes ba -da -da -da. Aurora Adina Mazel Now together they go And then you realize what these songwriters were doing this entire time this how does a song that start in E flat minor with a chorus in E flat major and in C major how does that happen <laughs> how is this song not more in the zeitgeist than let it go that doesn't make any sense to me this is such a geniusly written song and it is criminal that it didn't win uh, best original song at the Academy Awards. Are you kidding me? Yes, it was nominated, but what song was better than this? The arrangement of this, the songwriting of this is next level. Adina Menzel's performance is incredible. Absolutely incredible. Aurora also killed it. What a great song uh, in the Disney catalog. My goodness, I love the crap out of this song. Deserves way more attention than it's getting in my opinion. What are your thoughts of Into the Unknown by the great Andina Menzel and Aurora from Frozen 2? Let me know in the comment section down below. And if there's a Disney song that you think that I should analyze next and kind of show you how to play on the piano and all that kind of lovely stuff, then please let me know. Until next time, my name is Amir Kostovan, and I will see you in the next one.